Well, welcome back to the shed. It seems like forever since I've done a video. Um, and it's just been so, so busy at work. It's a really busy time of year. And um, it's uh, it's just one of those things, really. It's, um, I don't know, I, I teach for a living. I don't know how many of you know that, but... Uh, I teach engineering, mechanical engineering, and um, it's it's just a really busy time of year. So trying to get a video out has been uh, not just the video, but trying to get the footage to do the video. Um, plus seeing my kids and uh, you know work, and obviously you've got to give some attention to the missus from time to time as well. So <laughs> it's uh, it, it's been busy, but. What I wanted to do was, uh, I wanted to do a, a proper video on um, some cleaning products from a company that have been really, really kind and provided me with with a range of different cleaning products and also sanitizing products for helmets, um, visor cleaners and stuff like that. They're all here. I, I, I won't, I'm not gonna get into too much detail now because, um, well, first of all, the bike needs to be in a, in a state that it can be cleaned and if I use them now it's going to be it's it, the bike's immaculate at the minute because uh, I half thought about putting it away for winter but we have got some drier days coming up so I'm going to have to get out on the road um, get the bike dirty and give some of these products a go and I'm going to do a video about that I just wanted to really introduce you to uh, the company if you haven't heard of them the company is uh, Diomix so D-I-O-M-Y-X diomix.com they use the hashtag uncle albert um i found them on twitter and what i did was um you know i was just looking at i was just looking at different cleaning stuff for the bike and whatever and i just i just come across them and i messaged them and said you know i do youtube videos and i've got a channel you know i've got instagram got twitter would you mind sending me some products that i can look at um even test um and you know i can give an honest review and um, introduce people to your products. So, you know, obviously I haven't used the products yet. They are here. I'm just gonna give you a really quick look at these products now, just to let you know what they are. Obviously plug their web address, have a look, see what you think. Um, they seem pretty keen, really helpful, lots of information on there. They don't do products just for motorcycles, they do cars, and they also do sort of HTVs, haulage, lorries as well, that sort of stuff, the bigger, the bigger stuff. But as I said, they were really kind to send me a kit of what they thought would be the best products for my motorcycle. So it's uh, diomix.com, D-I-O-M-Y-X.com. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got the kit they've sent through, you know, I've got the, I've got the cleaning equipment, um, I've got the sprayer stuff. Um, obviously these are concentrates and these are samples as well. So they've given me obviously the bottle to um, mix them in. And what was really cool about them is they actually, it comes with like a cleaning product guide as well. So you can't really go wrong with the products. If you're a bit unsure, you can look on the cleaning guide um, and the cleaning guide that I've got up on the wall there, I'll put it up on the link um, on the video. It basically goes into detail of how to use them, how not to use them. So, you know, this, they look really good. They look really professional. What I like about them is like all these cool colors. Um, and you've got sort of like, you know, this is a this is a wax, cleans, polishes, waxes, freshens, four in one clean, protect, advanced clean formula for inside or outside use. Um, you know, and then oh, the other thing is that they're made in, here you go, made in Derbyshire. So made in the UK, made in Derbyshire. Um, and, uh, you know, it's got all of the information's on here. It tells you exactly what's in it, what, what it contains, um, non-hazardous according to the chip regulations. Um, you know, the directions are on there as well as the thing that they send. But you know, they all look pretty cool. Um, so I'll show you what we've got here. Uh, I'll show you what they've sent me. Look them up um, and see what you think. And um, maybe buy some of their products and have a go. Or even better, if you've got a channel or Instagram or a Twitter account, or you've got you know some followers that you think that could benefit from these products, maybe just ask them to send you a sample and see where you go. They seem to be really accommodating um, um, from you know from who I've spoken to so far at the company. 
So I can't wait to use them because obviously they've gone out their way to send me all of these and uh, put a kit together especially for motorcycles. So I'll show you what we've got. So we've got um, Presto Tar and Glue Remover, removes tar spots and glue residue, non-acid alloy wheel cleaner, removes baked on brake dust and grime, we've got the helmet and visor clean and protect, got the helmet interior sanitizer spray, um, smear free glass cleaner, deep clean concentrate, um, I haven't looked at that one to be fair so I presume that can be used in most places. Um, yeah, alcohol cockpit sanitizer, um, what's that, high foam manual wash and wax concentrate. And then you've got the Dio Wax, cleans, polishes, waxes, freshens. And these, these aren't just for bikes, by the way. Um, some of these obviously are for cars or, or you know, whatever, really. Um, but obviously some of these are just for bikes. But, you know, faded plastic rubber restorer. But yeah, they look pretty cool. And as I said, you know, they've sent a good selection there. And there are some that are, you know, specific for motorcycles. Obviously, you've got the, the helmet and visor, clean and protect. You've got the helmet interior sanitizer spray and then you've got obviously a smear free glass cleaner so it'd be interesting to see what they do on the helmet um and my helmet as well it's it's really old it's like i've got a couple obviously but uh the one which is like a budget nitro helmet uh, it's falling apart inside and it could do with a good sanitizing so uh it'd be interesting to see and then obviously they send the kit um and i can mix it in here mix the concentrate in there and they've also sent so you've got like uh cleaning guides as well so they tell you exactly how to use each product and how not to use each product so as long as you go go by this lot then you should be fine but it's i mean i've not used them yet so i can't really comment too much but that is the company if you see that logo on twitter if you see that logo anywhere on instagram um look them up and uh Give them a shout, see what you think. So there you go, it's just a short video to catch up really, let you know I'm still here, still alive, still kicking. Um, planning some videos, uh, not just obviously the cleaning products on the bike because I want to I want to use all of these and review them all independently. Um, I've got a petrol tank that I'm now in the middle of fitting to the frame for the XJ600. That petrol tank as you know came off the Bombardier 250. I've actually come up with a way that I can cut the tank down the middle and open the tank up and then weld in a couple of almost like gusset plates and a seam weld down the middle um, which I'll be doing hopefully before Christmas because um, as I say things are really busy but as soon as I can get on the welder um, which should be next week I can start getting some footage together for my XJ600 scrambler project which I haven't forgot about because the rest of the bike uh, is here we've got an engine behind here we've got the XJ600 engine there and then literally what you can't see under all of this bench um, is the XJ600 in bits. So um, it's uh, it's going to be good. I want to get the Scrambler done as soon as possible really just because I think it'll look an awesome bike when it's finished. But the problem has been the tank and getting the tank modded to fit on the frame but that's another story. So um, yeah and in between that just doing bits on the workshop, bits on the shed should I say. Um, looking after the shed to make sure it's here for the next well who knows how many years. So uh, we'll see. But yeah just a video to catch up. Life, eh? Busy times. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll get some videos up soon. Take it easy. Thanks for watching the shed.